this video might be long so put this in either 1.5 or times 2 speed because this is kind of a doozy and we got to go through all of these characters i i'm gonna try to sum it up as fast as i can there's no promises but just again be weary and be like if it's getting too long just honestly put it in, in like that times two speed and just speed it along as always i want to thank all of you guys for watching whether you're old or a new viewer whether you watch for 10 seconds or 10 minutes i appreciate all of you guys for stopping by and viewing my, viewing my channel and viewing this video it means the world to me it really does remember the 1000 subscriber giveaway that happened at the end of the year if you reach 1000 subscribers by the end of 2023 two subscribers will win two games of their choice let's make sure we hit that milestone and now without further ado let's get started now, I just want to preface this video by saying this is a tierless video. So that means this is just my opinion, all right? You do not have to agree with it. If you disagree with it, let me know why. I want to know your reasoning as to why you want, don't agree with um, my opinion. You don't have to agree it, by the way. This is, again, opinion-based. It's on me. So I, I would like to know your reasoning, why you agree or why you disagree uh, about the way I rearrange these characters. Now, that being said, let's start. Uh, now, granted... Keep in mind that these characters right here, they're not list like this is not like greatest to least. You know what I mean? This is just like put random. It's not saying like, oh, Harley Quinn's better than Sears. That's not what this is. Like, even though it's debatable, but like that's not what this is. It's just saying, hey, okay, this is this these people are in this group, these are this group. It's not like, oh, Aquaman's last and then Harley Quinn's first. That's not what's happening. Okay? So this is the list. Now it is arguably you could arguably say that like some of these characters can go higher and they, they should honestly like for instance one woman can go higher joking can go higher like if you want to do that that's fine i agree with you because honestly like again some of these characters can go higher i just put them there for now because that's like their sweet spot right maybe like deeper into the discussion i'll change it but now for now we'll start with uh we we'll start with lex Luthor. Right? we'll start with lex Luthor. um so what he does each time an ally gains a buff fill that allies gains by eight percent each time a legion of doom allies inflicted with a debuff so that allies power gauge by 8%. His power move is attack a single enemy. Damage multiplier 240. Extend all buffs by one turn on an ally. Grant immunity buff on all allies for three turns. Now, that kit alone is actually pretty good, right? I don't, like, again, I don't find anything wrong with what Lex Luthor, with what Lex, with what Lex Luthor does. Like a tongue twister, jeez. <laughs> but yeah, I don't find anything what he does is wrong, right? Um, he's, he's very like he's very support oriented for his team and for the like, Legion of Doom. His passive anyway. Um, and his extending the buffs for one turn on, on his allies is actually really good too. That's kind of like, it's helping fill his allies gauge by 8%, right? That's inherently a good thing. And you can honestly say, you can, you can honestly put him in S tier, right? That's a, a reasonable thing to do. But for me, again, this is just for me. Now, I haven't played him, so like, I don't know, um, like, how I would feel about him if he's played. It could change later on. But I'm just putting him at A tier because... He, like, he does good things, but, like, I don't think it's on, like, I don't think it belongs, like, S tier or Z tier level. Maybe I'm wrong. Like, maybe if you put him with, like, more Legion of Doom members, then maybe he, he'd shine more. But, like, for now, like, he's, like, a high A tier, low S tier. That, that's where I would put it. You know what? I'll put him, like, actually, I'll just leave it here. But, like, yeah, again, high A tier, low S tier. That's for me. Now, for Aquaman... At the beginning of each turn, Aquaman has a 40% chance to apply anti-debuff for one to one random enemy for three turns. His power move is to suppress his barriers on all enemies, attack all enemies for three hits, damage multiplied by 90% per hit, remove all buffs from all enemies. That isn't bad. That's like, that's not bad. He since the 40% chance to apply anti-debuff is that's pretty good for three turns, right? It's pretty good, right? And then also removing all the buffs from his enemies from using his power move. That's cool. That's good, right? I think that's pretty good. Um, like again, it's just like what else? Again, you could put put him with the Justice League team. I'm sure he will shine like a shining star because as the blue unit, right? Along with Superman. But I just don't know. Like I just don't know. Again, I haven't played him, so like I don't know how like how how high he's gonna shine. But again, again, like as as for right now, I'm putting him like again. I think he's just mid S tier for now. For now, now we have Halo. Whenever enemies attack an ally with a barrier, they are inflicted with vulnerability debuff for two turns. When Halo performs an attack, Katana and Halo both gain a barrier equal to five percent of Halo's max HP. For her power move, it attacks a single enemy, damage multiplied by eighty-six percent, inflicts an anti-heal debuff on the target for five turns, inflicts a damage overtime debuff on the target for five turns. So that's good. That's actually really good. Now um it's not a problem really she's one of the few characters that have it um 
she has the like her passive includes like the ability to like have other characters like characters like outside of her tag kind of in a way um be affected by um her passive and that's pretty good like her and her and um katana going well together that's good but it's like if katana's not with you with halo right if you don't say you don't have katana right it's kind of like it's holding her back in a little bit but everything else is fine right like she could it could be debatable if you think i think if you like put her on like all red team she'd be all cbs tier but as like stand standalone um she'd be like you know meh s tier she, she could be higher like s, s plus tier right but again standalone she'd be here um that's for all these characters by the way all these characters are like this is just like standalone right it's not really like team based if it was team based all of them would definitely be higher right but this is just standalone in their abilities now <laughs> for vandal savage his is because he could honestly be s plus tier like, like reading back i read over his kit and i'm like what was i on like he's actually not bad um at the start of each turn vandal savage heals himself by four percent of his max hp immune to vulnerability debuff immune to defense down debuff that's actually pretty good that's not bad like that's that, that's a pretty nice passive right there um for his power move it attacks random enemies for four hits damage multiplier 58 percent per hit 58 percent per hit grant top grant top buff on itself for three turns convert one random tile into a blue tile that's pretty that's pretty decent it's a it's a decent um power move i think his passive shines more um, like the, the healing on himself and immune to vulnerability and immune to defense down debuff it's actually really i put him like high as to like again this is not ranking but like if i were ranking it he'd be like here low s tier you know what i mean like s plus tier i mean like he just he'd be there you know what i mean like he's not bad he's honestly not bad again i don't have him so i can't really judge him off of that but that's just that's just like from what i'm reading like it sounds pretty good now riddler he should be here he honestly and honestly i'm gonna leave him here i honestly am because he's a great unit he's honestly great he's fantastic like he literally at the start of each turn the riddler has a 40 percent chance to convert a random tile into a green tile after performing a power move really converts a random tile into a green tile or green special tile my bad uh, but it's of either a horizontal line or a vertical line or across now for his power move it does no damage and it can't be blocked or dodged reduce all the targets power degree by 20 percent inflict the garthy debuff on all targets for five turns inflicts red color down debuff on all targets for five turns that is freaking insane like that right there is actually loki busted and snaps and the thing is if he's coupled up with another person from arkham most wanted i'm not gonna say who but you know who it is if he's coupled up with that person he's insane he's literally insane like the, the amount of debuffs he has is just like it puts you in a chokehold and you can't do nothing like it's gone so honestly i put him at s plus tier he's actually really good um for wonder woman i'll admit i slept on her i really did i honestly did I'll, i'm a i'm a man to, i'm man enough to admit it i'm man enough to admit it i slept on her I, I really did wonder woman she may seem like meh but it's like it's behind closed doors if that makes sense like listen to this at the beginning of battle convert two random tiles into red tiles but wonder woman's by the wonder woman's power gauge by 40 percent when she blocks Granted, that's one turn, but that's a lot of, that's almost half your gauge being filled, right? And you might think, oh, that's, that's whatever, but go into her power gauge, like, go into her power move. That's where things get spicy. So, for instance, she has a damage multiplier 194, 194%, cannot be blocked, inflict block down debuff on the target for 5 turns, remove taunt buff from the target. If taunt was removed by this ability, inflict a vulnerability debuff on that enemy. So, she just says, like, you know what? forget she says you know what forget you you're getting hit you're getting all these hits absorbed like you're just you're just getting hit simple as that you're not blocking you're not doing anything i don't care you're getting these hands it's simple as that so she's really like that attacker that, that's gonna land that hit um granted again i don't i don't have wonder woman and i don't think anyone can get her right now because i don't think she's available in any recruit summons but for the most part, she's she does seem really good. I honestly, I put her at S tier, S plus tier. I could have been like confused. I don't know why. Yeah, I put her at S plus tier. She seems really, really good. Uh, now for S plus tier themselves, now we have Raven. Now Raven is iffy because for some people she could be Z tier. Some people should be S plus tier. She might even be lower. I think she's high S plus tier, low Z tier. Maybe, 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 maybe. It honestly depends. Because 
Her passive is Icky. At the start of each battle, each time Raven performs a power move, grant immunity buff on all two times out of two turns. That might seem meh, because she's like, oh, she's just helping her teammates. But once you read her power move, it gets it, it gets a little more, you know, it, it starts to go up. So, oh, by the way, and for her for her passive as well, she actually has an ability to heal her teammates too. I think, I don't know if it's for a lot of turns, but I think it might be for one or two. But she can also heal her her allies for a little bit. Now, for her power move, it's a damage multiplied by 58%. Inflicts defense down debuff on all targets for three turns. Inflicts anti-heal debuff on all targets for three, for, for three turns. I think a de like she's just like a great debuffing unit. She's kind of like Riddler, but like not as, you know what I mean? Like she's not, she doesn't do like everything he does, but like just like half of it maybe. But having like the ability to grant immunity buff on their team times allies is really good too. I guess just the problem is if you don't have those guys, it kind of hinders her. But yeah, yeah, I leave her here. I leave her here, honestly. Now Joker, Joker, I'm going to be real. I'm, I'm going to be so real right now. He does not need to be here. He he should be here. Um, he just does too much. You could like, you could disagree. That's fine. But he does way too much, dude. Like each time the Joker has t each time Joker takes defense, there's a forty five percent chance the enemy is inflicted with anti heal debuff for three turns. That alone's already busted. Okay. When the Joker's HP falls below the fifty percent of max HP, he removes all debuffs from himself and grants the stuff buff on himself for five turns. He says basically, I'm not getting hit. That's basically what he says. I'm not getting hit from you. I don't care. I'm not getting hit. Now his power move. He even gets more crazy than this. It's a damage loss power, 45%. Inflicted attack down debuff on all targets for three turns. Grant taunt buff from one random ally for one turn. Like, he just he just does so much. Like, <laughs> and it's really good that he's really he's really versatile, right? He, like, fit on any team. Like, it doesn't even matter. So, like, I think that's why people love him so much because not only is, like, he just, like, he, like, sabotages your opponent and, like, gets away with a lot of stuff. Kind of comic, comic accurate, anyway. But, yeah, he's, he's, he's honestly, he's really, really solid. Like, low, low, mid Z tier, I put him there. Now for Sears. Ah, Sears, Sears, Sears. The person that just always avoids me, you know? And I can never beat her stage, but Sears. For each buff and debuff applied to Sears, increase her attack and defense stats by 3%. Each time she is targeted by a power move, unless she has a red color up buff, Sears inflicts red color down debuff on herself for, two, for 10 turns. Puts all debuffs on their buff equivalent on all, on all allies. Attack a single enemy, damage multiplier 220%, that's a lot. Generate a barrier on all allies equal to 6% of Sears' max HP, 1% for each buff applied to Sears. That in itself. I'm not even gonna explain it, that's just. That's just. It's literally two paragraphs long, that's how you know it's just cracked, okay? <laughs> that's how you know. Now, these three, okay? These three. Um, again, it's no order, but like, it might be some favoritism from Star Park, y'all know why. Um, <laughs> but, they're just, first of all, Superman's cracked, okay? He literally just says, I'm impervious to anything except Kryptonite. It's literally what his passive is. I don't take no crits, don't take no kind of like absurd debuffs, literally nothing. I'm fine. Only thing that bothers me is Kryptonite. That's literally it. That's the only thing that really bothers him. He's immune for 24 turns at the start so he's honestly solid um, 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 um starfire uh she again she just came out she's actually really but really like team oriented but that's not in this case it's not really holding her back because she also has a lot of stuff that can help her out um granted she is also one of the other characters that can like that has like a character specific thing a part of her passive what i mean what i mean by that is like, not a lot of characters have the ability to, uh, what's it called? Not, they don't have the ability to, like, help other characters that, like, by name. So, like, this instance, Starfire helps Night, can help Nightwing if he's on her team, right? So, I think that's pretty cool, but also it may hold her back for some, for some instances. Because if you don't have Nightwing, then you're not screwed. But, like, again, it's holding her back from her, like, her latent ability or latent potentials, basically. Um... Alright everyone, welcome back. My name is LC and today we have another tier list video for you guys from DC Heroes and Villains. Now, I just want to say her power move inflicts a damage over time debuff on the target. Obviously awesome. It grants deep debuff, it grants a defense up buff for her for her allies. So it's not just team times members, it's just her allies in general. If the enemy survives, there's a 90% chance a random ally performs an assist attack. That is pretty good. Like, I don't think anyone really has that in, in this game. I think she might be the first. Which in itself is actually really good too. Now lastly, Harley Quinn. 
she's iffy. She's an iffy character. Not like saying bad iffy. She's, she's good iffy. But some people might rank her like S tier, maybe even A tier. I put her Z tier because what she does is just absurd. It's literally like, <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's fact. At the start of each turn, Harley has a 100% chance to lose 50% of her HP to inflict either a Legarthi, actually down, or attack down debuff on one random enemy for two turns. Her with Joker would go, would go stupid. Her, Joker, Riddler would go stupid. It would go nuts. The amount of debuffs you would suffer, heck, even, even Sears too, it would go wild. It would literally be ballistic. It would not be fun time at all. Like, she just does so much. Holy. It just, it just... She just does so like having those amount of debuffs all together is just absurd. Like the opponent is just being crippled the whole time. On they honestly are. Um, but yeah, this is my tier list so far. But wait, wait, there's actually one character left. You guys are not gonna see this coming. I'm putting them at S Z plus tier. Hold up. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Nope, that's my bad. Sorry. Y'all already know. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. She's not no five star, but she could be. She should be, because the amount of stuff she does is insane. I'm not gonna go into that any further. Just take that and sit with it. But in all seriousness, thank you all so much for watching. You guys are truly amazing. If you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. If you guys agree with me or disagree with me, let me know in the comment section as to why. Be on the lookout for some more DCOs and Bros content coming throughout the week. There will be a tons and tons of more. I'm just pushing out so much I just can't even handle it anymore. But it is always a pleasure to make a video for you guys. You guys are truly amazing. My name is LC, and I'll see you all in the next video.